a live view of the Garden City where Missoula County Public Schools are facing an alarming budget deficit. The crisis could result in drastic cuts. Concerned parents are reaching out to NBC Montana asking us to look into it to find out why the district isn't selling property to help or why certain tax dollars aren't going to local schools. NBC Montana's investigative report Bowen West is digging deeper into the possible solutions. It's been the perfect storm. The loss of ESSER funds, less students means less funding, and rising inflationary costs. This is all leading to Missoula County Public Schools losing money. Funding that comes from the state doesn't adequately support the inflationary costs that we're experiencing. The district's director of business says that when property taxes and contributions from local taxpayers went up, that money goes to the state and is spread out in the general fund. That that growth um, um, must mean that we got more dollars and it, and it doesn't. Viewers have asked why the school district isn't selling property. They don't because the public uses spaces like the former Cold Springs Elementary School for events. And the superintendent told me the money made from a sale like that would be a temporary band-aid on the issue. Many have blamed district administrators for careless spending, but the truth is much harder to handle. This is a statewide issue. Schools in Helena, Bozeman, and Billings are facing similar deficits. All of my uh, AA superintendent counterparts in their communities experiencing the same thing. Here it is simplified. Imagine this cup is the school. The state says this is the max funding allowed. But the state only provides this much from the general fund. Then it's up to the districts to ask taxpayers to make up that difference. So in some ways, it turns us into uh, almost begging for uh, the funds uh, from our community. And, and that's inherently unfair. Reporting in Missoula, Bowen West, NBC Montana.